Since the initial phase of the Intel Alchemist graphics cards launch, Intel has delivered multiple driver upgrades that have either resulted in fixing the compatibility issues with older titles or in a significant performance uplift. Some performance boosts were as high as 71% in specific titles, but the improvement wasn't limited to only a few games. This time we have another bug fix by Intel that has maximized the potential of ARC GPUs on the Linux operating systems. As reported by Foronix, this issue was fixed with the latest Mesa Code version 23.2 which removed the root cause for bottlenecking gaming performance of ARC GPUs. This was essentially happening due to Linux kernel, an interface that establishes a connection between the hardware and applications. As explained by Linux graphics driver engineer Francisco Jerez, multiple bits were getting clobbered during 3D context initialization, but the latest update enables L3 partial write merging that increased the rendering fill rate by over 3 times in some cases. This resulted in a performance boost in a number of titles including Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which saw 5.5 5% performance improvement, whereas CSGO improved by 11%. The good thing is that there were no negative impacts seen so far and this update is a win-win situation for ARC GP users who are using Linux operating systems. That said, Foronix added that it is going to test the ARC GPUs once again to see how much performance boost it can get with the new update. And if the results show a noticeable performance increase in most titles, then this would not only mean a lot to Alchemist GPUs but also to Meteor Lake CPUs that are equipped with the Alchemist-based integrated graphics. This is the second time in a single month we are seeing such improvements on the ARC GPUs and the last one was even better with the Beta 4382 driver that brought a performance boost of up to 33% in titles like F1 2023 and 10% uplift in Counter-Strike 2 and Destiny 2. I'm very positive that Intel can do even better if it keeps tuning its drivers and hopefully we can see fully mature drivers when the battle mage hits the market. And talking about driver updates, AMD hasn't released the official driver support for Phoenix APU since its launch. If you remember, AMD officially launched the Ryzen 7040 laptops a month ago that come with RDNA 3i GPUs for sweet spot 1080p gaming. Not only has AMD delayed the launch of Ryzen 7040 CPUs several times, but looks like AMD is yet to provide official support to these devices for maximizing their potential. The issue here is that without official driver support, not only it will bottleneck performance in games and applications, but also cause various bugs in the system. Some of the users who own Phoenix-based laptops have reported bugs like GPU entering the sleep mode that restrains the laptop from recovering. This forces the users to restart their laptops losing all their unsaved progress. The irony here is AMD has been very active with Phoenix CPUs by launching them in mini PCs and even in handheld consoles such as ROG Ally but till now no platform has received the driver update which should eventually increase the gaming performance and fix crucial bugs. On the other hand, it was pretty quick in providing the driver support for the Ryzen 7045 Dragon range CPUs that come with RDNA 2 integrated graphics. This could mean that AMD is having some serious issues with RDNA 3 based GPUs on Phoenix chips but currently no one knows what they are and how much time AMD will take to fix them. Now before moving on, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to keep up with the latest hardware stories going around the world as it can be quite challenging to grasp everything at once. By following this channel you will get the most interesting stuff delivered in just a few minutes. And lastly, the RTX 4060 benchmarks just got leaked and it shows a direct comparison between the 4060 and the RTX 3068 and 12GB. The tests were performed on 3D Mark, and here are the results for different tests. The RTX 4060 is roughly 23% faster than the 12GB 3060 across all the tests that include popular tests like Time Spy and Fire Strike while delivering close to 50% higher performance than the 3068GB. So the 4060 is definitely looking solid against the 3068GB card but as soon as the 12GB addition comes into play, the performance difference gets slashed to half. This is due to the wider memory bus and more VRAM on the 3060 12GB and while for some it is not a fair comparison between the 8GB 4060 and the 12GB 3060, I believe this is totally fair because the 4060 does not have a second configuration unlike the 3060. And if you look at the current GPU market, the 3060 12GB costs almost the same as the 8GB addition which puts the 4060 in a very competitive position. The RTX 4060 is priced at $300 while the 3060 12GB can be found for $20 less. It can be argued that the 4060 delivers decent uplift for the price but the low VRAM issue will be apparent as soon as the cards are put to test in modern AAA titles where we see 8GB cards getting crumbled to their knees easily. Still, I believe that the 4060 is much better than the 4060 Ti when it comes to pricing and specs but it would be much better if Nvidia reduces its price to something like $270 because its competitor from the red team is already reduced to $250 and is still not getting enough 
attention. Considering the leaked synthetic benchmarks of the 4060, it can be easily said that the advertised 20% higher gaming performance of the card should come true. But everything will be crystal clear once the third party reviews are out. Once again, I believe that the 4060 should have been equipped with at least 192 bit memory bus because 128 bit bus bottlenecks the capability of the card not only at higher resolutions but also in console emulation. And in this video, you will see why the 4060 Ti fails miserably at emulation but its predecessor still gets the job done pretty easily. Watch that video and let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Lastly, hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more stories like these. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any latest uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.